CD Projekt Red may be under potential threat of a hostile takeover. However, it seems like they are taking the necessary steps to defend themselves, and that's what we're going to talk about in this episode of Talk Gaming, the only internet talk show which makes you ooze with excitement out of every single orifice every time you see a new episode has been uploaded to YouTube. I am your host, Lukey Poo, and we're going to talk about this. So, what exactly is going on? Well, CD Projekt Red has called for a general meeting of shareholders to take place on November 29th, during which the company and their shareholders will vote on whether or not the company should purchase back part of its own shares for 250 million Polish Zvolta, merge its brands, Witcher and Cyberpunk, and change the company's statutes to put restrictions on the voting abilities of shareholders who exceed 20% total equity in the company. What does all that mean, and how does it imply a takeover defense? Well, we're going to talk about it. The first thing, obviously purchasing back your shares is a very... It's a common thing in the business world. It's nothing out of the ordinary. But the reason it's done is usually to maintain sovereignty, uh, keeping the sovereignty in the sort of hands of the people within the company and not with some independent or outside investors who might not know exactly what they're doing or understand where the company is going with what they're doing. Now, uh so buying back shares is, is not anything out of the usual, but changing statutes within the company to limit the voting abilities of those who hold 20% or more total equity in the company, that is very specifically to defend themselves against a takeover attempt. There's no way that you can spin it in terms of business where that isn't trying to defend themselves from those who are going to purchase large amounts of stock and then use their large stake in the company to get more stock eventually to buy out the company and gain control. So what they're doing by trying to change the statutes uh, so that they have limited voting abilities just is designed to maintain sovereignty within the company and to, at the very least, make it much harder to totally buy it out. Now, th this statute change could only be lifted if the shareholder who was trying to take over made a call to buy all of the remaining shares for a set dedicated price that exceeded 50% of the total vote within the company. And that is a very, very rare and difficult thing to do. So all in all, it doesn't seem like this is a major threat. Uh, now, this isn't the first time that CD Projekt Red has been rumored to be dealing with a takeover. In September of 2015, they were rumored to be dealing with a hostile takeover from EA, Electronic Arts. Yeah, that EA. Uh, and they actually had to come out. One of their chief executives, Adam Chikinsky, actually had to come out and deny the rumors um, that EA was trying to buy them out saying, quote, usually we don't comment on rumors, but it's time to deny the one about the takeover because it spread too far. In the name of the board, I would like to state, no, we are not in any talks about the sale of CD Projekt Red, end quote. That's last year. This year, seems that they're making actual movements and business maneuvers to avoid a takeover. Movements that can only be explained by the defense of a takeover. And of course, we don't know all of the ins and outs unless you are a shareholder, um, which is just in terms of <laughs> math is not incredibly likely. But uh, this this does seem to be uh, the case that they are defending themselves from a takeover. Now, the gaming world has been uh, dealing with lots of takeovers recently, and by lots, I mean one other big name uh, takeover, or attempt to takeover, rather, which was when Vivendi, earlier this year, was trying to take over Ubisoft. Ubisoft made many of the same um, 
movements and maneuvers that CD Projekt Red is making right now. They made many of the same movements, buying back their own stock, changing policies and statutes on the voting abilities of majority holders. They did all of these things and they were able to defend themselves from this takeover uh, by Vivendi. And it seems like CD Projekt Red understands what's going on and is properly defending themselves against this. So all in all, I would not be too worried. I don't think you're going to be dealing with an EA owning CD Projekt Red or EA making the next Witcher game. I would not be worried about it one bit. They seem to know what's going on, to be taking the necessary steps to defend themselves against it. And in the end, that's all we can ask for. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. A full